Hey, happy Tuesday and blessings to you as you start this day and you're starting it right in God's Word. I'm very thankful for that. Pastor Jeremy and I are doing this series here for two weeks as we walk through our guiding statement. And we're looking at kind of each key word in that statement. And the statement reminds us who we are. We are God's beloved disciples growing in faith. And it reminds us what God's called us to do. We're privileged to share his love with present and future generations. And today we're going to look at that word privileged. We are very privileged. Now, uh, the word privilege is taking on some social, political connotations and uh, maybe negative connotations in some sense. Uh, here's the definition for privilege. It is a right or liberty granted as a favor. Right or liberty granted as a favor. Now let's go back and let's remember what the theological definition is for the word grace. It is the favor of God. It is all of God's riches given to us because he loves us. It's just a favor he does for us. It's not something that we earn, in other words. And so when we look at the privileged status that we have as God's children, uh, we understand that this is something that is very, very special. And throughout Scripture, the Old Testament and the New Testament, God is constantly telling us about how truly special and privileged we are. Now, this is not an exclusive club. Uh, God's will is that all people come to faith in Jesus Christ and become his children. I just want to look at several verses today, uh, a little less of me talking, a little bit more of, of Scripture today. Uh, in Ephesians chapter 1, verse 3, we learn that we have every spiritual blessing in heavenly places. Now think about that before you walk out your door or start your day here on this earth. Realize that you already have every spiritual blessing from the heavenly places. It's yours right now. In Romans 8, 17, we see that we are co-heirs with Christ. Co-heirs, co-inheritors with Christ. That means of heaven, of eternal life, of eternal peace and joy and love like we can't ever imagine. And then in the Beatitudes, Jesus told us that the kingdom of heaven is ours. It's ours. And then I want to share uh, in 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 9, we are told, you are a chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's special possession. These are our great gifts that God has given us. It's a great comfort to us as we live in this world. But listen to the second half of that verse in uh, 1 Peter 2.9. Uh, so you are, we are God's special possession, so that... You may declare the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful life. So that you may declare the praises of him. In our words, in our actions, in our thoughts, our prayers, the way we treat each other, the way we treat God's creation. Uh, well, look at Luke 12, 48. From everyone who has been given much, much will be demanded. And from the one who has been entrusted with much, much more will be asked. That seems to make sense, doesn't it? God has given us the greatest gifts possible, uh, greatest than we could ever hope for or imagine for sure. And so that comforts us. It also reminds us that well, we have a great responsibility here. So when we talk about it in our statement, we are privileged to share God's love with present and future generations. Uh, we remember what a great gift it is that someone, a generation before us and many generations before us, has shared God's love with us. And now we have that same privilege and responsibility uh, to share that love with 
the generations to come. Well, I pray that uh, comforts you this day, that you are a very privileged child of God. And that is a great blessing with a great responsibility. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for your great love for us that gives us all good things. Uh, be with us in times that are difficult. Provide for us when we lack. And Lord, we lift up to you uh, those in uh, Ukraine who are trapped, who are scared, who are hurting. Uh, let your hand of comfort and healing and protection uh, be upon them. Lord, bless our continued efforts at our uh, building your kingdom here at Desert Foothills. Lead us and guide us in this growing legacy campaign. In Jesus' name we ask, amen. All right, you guys, you have a wonderful day. See you next time.